Virgo, what is the area of self-healing you need to focus on over the next two weeks? Some of you are dealing with loss, disappointment, regret. There could You could be in some brooding moods. Maybe you're losing business. Maybe you've lost some property or assets. Maybe you've lost your heart due to a negative situation. So you are trying to hold tight. You are trying to protect yourself, your emotions, what you what belongs to you. Perhaps there's this uh, overly cautious attempt not to rock the boat, to hold on for dear life. And so you're having to look at what you're holding on to and perhaps what it's costing you, how you may be closing yourself off to opportunity because of fear or greed or selfishness. Uh, so you're having to look at where you're giving and why you're giving, how much you're giving, and what you're getting back. Whether you're being too tight, too conservative, too fixed, or whether you're being too open and too free with what you have, whatever that is, time, money, energy, love, and whether you're coming out on the losing end of the stick because of it. Because there's a pronounced focus on the past, what you've had to give up, where you've been disappointed, where you've been let down. And you may not be fully acknowledging the support and the love that's being offered to you. You're not able to see the bright side of a situation, and yet there is hope. There is a bridge over those troubled waters. As long as you release the past and let that stay where it belongs in the past, in fact, you have jade, this good luck heart chakra stone. And so for some of you, this is coming up because you're about to enter a period of good luck. This is going to attract friendships, uh, people that can help you, and you need to keep your eye out for some kind of lucky encounter, some kind of good news, a financial blessing, a new friendship, and be thankful for whatever form it takes. Now, this is the heart chakra, and in this Four of Pentacles, somebody is closing their heart off because they're trying to protect it. And so the only way to attract love and money into your life is to open yourself up to that. So you're going to improve your finances by remaining positive. Visualize what you want, how you're going to achieve this financial success. And if it doesn't show up right when you expect that doesn't mean give up. Acknowledge the wealth that you already have, the blessings that you've been given, and trust that you're making steady progress toward that goal, toward greater abundance. Now, to attract more love into your life, you're going to need to first love and nurture yourself. So you need to, you know... Get yourself cleansed physically. That may mean you know, detoxing in some way. Or see yourself as a vessel of love and light. And refresh your heart by giving, by expanding, so that you can receive more love and more happiness. Because some big changes are headed your way, Virgo. So don't be afraid of them. Don't try to keep things the same, not rock the boat, keep the status quo. There's some positive changes. You're going to be able to do some healing. In fact, you have this message. My faith has the power to turn trauma into healing, conflict into growth and fear into love.